Black history is Chicago's history. In fact, it was a black man, Jean Baptiste Pointe Savo, who was considered the founder of our great city. We honor his legacy in many ways, from Giuseppe Lakeshore Drive to the Giuseppe Black History Museum to our district's own Giuseppe High School. Many additional schools also bear the names of black artists, historians, and leaders. Schools like Oscar de Priest Elementary, which was named for Chicago's first ever black alderman. And Al Raby High School, which honors the life and legacy of a CPS teacher, activist, and civil rights leader who fought against racism in education, housing, and employment practices. Gwendolyn Brooks High School honors the first black woman to be named U.S. Poet Laureate. These and other black leaders paved the way for future CPS students. Students like Margaret Burroughs, a graduate of Inglewood High School, who went on to found Chicago's DeSabo Black History Museum and the Southside Community Arts Center. And students like Mae Jemison, who graduated from Morgan Park High School with a passion for science. That passion took her to Stanford University, then to Cornell Medical School, and eventually to NASA, where she became the first black woman in space. Black history is Chicago's history. I see the legacy of Margaret Burroughs, Mae Jameson, and so many others in the CPS students of today. 35% of our current students are African American, and I want them to have the education they need to build on the legacy of the CPS alumni who came before them. We also want our black students to see themselves reflected in the adults who surround them every day. That's why CPS has made hiring more teachers of color a top priority. 58% of the new teachers who joined CPS this school year are persons of color. We're also putting programs in place to close achievement gaps and help our black students reach their full potential. We've expanded middle school algebra as well as AP and IB programs in underserved schools. We also launched the district's first black student success working group this year. This is a team of CPS students, educators, and community leaders who are striving to improve the educational experience of our black students. They are among the strongest advocates for our black youth and are well positioned to address the unique challenges that are facing our students. Black history is Chicago's history. So as we celebrate Black History Month, I want to say how proud I am to lead a school district that embraces and celebrates its diversity. A district with a culturally responsive curriculum and one that prioritizes hiring educators whose daily experience mirrors the experience of their students. I am proud to be a part of a school district that is building strong leaders. So on behalf of the entire leadership team at CPS, Happy Black History Month!